This is the Claret Hollow Buzzer. Simple to tie, but you can get it wrong by making things bulky. Keep it nice and slim, get the profile perfect. Love this stripped herald stuff for vineyards. It's a claret dyed herald, stripped back, obviously. Um, the nice trigger points, the jungle coat cheeks. A great buzzer, the year round, whether you're fishing still water, small or large reservoirs. Let's go ahead and tie them. In the vise, I'm going to place a size 10 full mill competition heavyweight hook. Black floss. It'll come right down. Just as it starts coming round the bend, I'm going to tie in this wonderful herald. Really, really lovely stuff. Cut it in. And again, nice touch and turns. Come up to a point where the thorax is. Be careful here because this stuff's fragile. Nice open turns. Come up the hook shank. Creating that rib effect as you go. Stopping at thorax. Should just snip off like that. Build up a thorax area, not too bulky. You see a lot of buzzers, and it's the thorax is absolutely huge on the things. The natural buzzer actually doesn't have a thorax like this at all. The natural buzzer has a thorax that's all from here to here, like a little hump. But this one will make a little bit pronounced. I've got two nice orange goose bites here. Catch them in. And what I like to do is, if I take my, my bite and bring it down, you'll see it when I work on the other side, I bring it down to sort of under the thorax. I like to bring these up and over, rather than just along the side that a lot of buzzers have. As you can see, pull it down. So it's at the underside of the thorax. Cover everything over with your floss. Any stray ends, just come in with your scissors. Snip. And then we've got this wonderful claret holographic. Very understated. Catch that in on top of the hook shank. Make sure it's nice and straight. Like so. Again, cover everything up with the floss. Leave a little bit of space behind the eye to tie off, keeping everything nice and tidy. Like I say, I like to bring these up and over the thorax area. As you can see, up and over. Same with this one. And what you can do is just keep tension the threads, just like that. You can tidy that up. And then bring your holographic up and over as well. Keeping it in the centre. And then just tidy up the head. We then just take our varnish, give it a good coating, leave the whole thing to dry, and then coat it again. Or you could use a, a UV curing resin. I like varnish. Um, I know it's fiddly and takes a lot longer, but I just think it looks that much better. Like so. See the holographic on the head there? 
Leave that to dry, give it another coat. Holographic buzzer. Clarit.